All right. Take a nice deep breath. And uh, as most of you are actually sitting at your computer, if you're not, um, that's okay too. But uh, feet flat on the floor. Like I said, we've been in our, our yoga and classes this week. We've last week or so we've been focusing on our feet, and what we've been noticing is um, by strengthening and becoming aware of the feet, uh, exercising them, moving them around, actually helps with the balance, with our balance. So just really try and feel the soles of the feet on the floor. Right now my feet are on carpet, carpet's made of wool. Underneath that I think it's a cement slab and then underneath that is the earth. So we're supported. And then have your sits bones, be on top of your sits bones as much as you can. Your ischial chivarosity, they call it officially. Uh, shoulders aligned with the hips. And just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. Really try and lengthen your spine. Head is very slightly tipped forward. Eyes are down, looking along the length of the nose. They were open, tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. And relax the jaw. Bring the mind to the crown of the head and just release any tension at the top of the head in the scalp and just go down and relax the forehead and the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, the back of the head, the back of the tongue, the temples, the jaw, back of the neck. Allow your shoulders and shoulder blades to drop down, relax the throat and the chest and the belly. Take a nice deep breath. Just notice the sensations of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. So it flows, the air flows in and out of the nostrils. If there are any sounds in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. So try not to follow with the mind. And then again, just notice the thoughts that are arising in the mind. You can categorize them if you like. Thinking, planning, generating stories around situations. Perhaps there's an angry thought there. You can just allow those thoughts to float away uh, on whatever vehicle you wish, whether it be a helium balloon or a fluffy white cloud or even a lotus petal, even just a leaf, or on the wings of a butterfly. Just let them go light. Sometimes we get so weighed down with a story where halfway into 2025 and we've not even realized how we got there. So I always find this exercise so helpful. 
And as we put ourselves on the bank of our river, just watch that river flow on by. Just notice the quality of the water. Is it bubbling? Is it moving slowly? Is it moving quickly? And as your mind, the same as with your mind, don't judge. Just notice, observe, and realize that while you're sitting on that bank, you're free from the river. Now we can bring to mind all the people of our life and the ones we love very dearly, children, spouses, your best friends, and then there's those we don't like very much, and then there are strangers, and just they can all change place at any time, these relationships. I think we'll do this uh, meditation for the benefit of all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings, all these sentient beings who are equal and they wish to be happy and they wish to be free from suffering and having this incredible capacity for Buddhahood. So this Vajrasattva meditation in the context of the four opponent powers there is no negativity that cannot be purified. This purification process is basically a psychological one. We create negativity with our mind so we can easily change that, believe it or not, by creating positivity instead. So we start with the power of regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day in this life and in all of our past lives. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general, regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this uh, logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. And we cannot bear the thought of the future suffering that we ourselves will experience. We know from our present suffering we don't want it, so logically it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering and also regret any anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. We rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. And we're not asking Buddha Vajrasattva to forgive us. We don't want our, uh, we're not looking for a higher power here. We're purifying ourselves by relying upon his methods, his medicine. So you can imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. And you can also imagine that this is your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. So here we have our Vajrasattva. So rather than imagining just this, um, you know, beautiful tanka, which is like two-dimensional, whatever, on the crown of the head, imagine a three-dimensional hologram made of light. But radiant and, and full of energy, powerful energy. The mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for you. You're sitting on a white lotus and a moon cushion. He has this beautiful radiant face. You know, the long, beautiful, peaceful eyes. And they're full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life who has no critical thoughts towards you, sees everybody equally. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding um, a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. 
and there being cross represents a union of these two, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings, the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us, by developing compassion for them. So think of someone you may, may have harmed recently, someone who's harmed you. And then think maybe in general, all beings maybe we've ever harmed since beginning this time. So the ones who've harmed us particularly think being feeling compassionate towards them because the harm they've caused you will manifest in suffering for them in the future. So this, now we come to the power of the, the remedy and this is the medicine doing the practice of purification and we start with the body and imagine Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart and it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and this appears into space, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutukaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawasiri Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutukaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta me boa, saba sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, didu me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anurakta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Didu Me Boa Sitokaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sutokaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa Anurakta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan, sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, didu me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anurakta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body is now completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with the body. And next, our speech, purifying our speech. And Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and it arcs around and quite forcefully enters your crown and fills your entire body except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech excuse me and this overflows and disappears into space not one atom left so you can imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs 
getting other people to agree with you. All this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajrama Mimutta Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe and Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Guru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajrama Mimutta Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum so imagine your speech is now completely purified and, and it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. So next we come to the purification of the mind. Bhadrasattva very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So the same as when you walk into a pitch black room and you flick on that switch, the light in the room is instantly dispelled. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your attachment, neediness, bitterness, grudges, depressions, anxiety, disappointments, all of this, Instantly dispelled, not one atom left. Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yato Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yato Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me 
Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabala Mahasamaya Sata Hompe and Bajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabala Mahasamaya Sata Hompe and Bajosapa Samaya Manupalaya, Bajosapa Dina Patita, Dida Meboa, Sitokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, Anurata Meboa, Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajamami Mutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe, and Bajosapa Samaya Manupalaya, Bajosapa Dina Patita, Dida Meboa, Sitokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, Anurakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajamami Mutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering, cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are completely purified. And think there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. And this time you can imagine that Vajrasattva, again, very happily sends light and nectar. It fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from the mind. And Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe And Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawasidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum <laughs> Samaya Manupalaya Bajosapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe And Bajosapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajosapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum ha 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 ho bagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa mahasamaya sata a hompe and bajasapa samaya manupalaya bajasapa dina patita dida meboa sitokaya meboa sipokaya meboa anurakta meboa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe And Bajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum so now feel completely purified and there is not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed so now the power of resolve and here we make a decision to try and refrain from harming so I think of something you've been working on rejoice in your efforts coming here night after night doing the same thing, 
rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So rejoice in your dedication to your own practice, to yourself, to your own self-healing, self-inquiry, inquiry, I think you say here. I should say we, I'm American now as well. So, and you know, this whatever it is you're focusing on right now, whether it's your speech or food or whatever, or your mind going crazy. I think, well, I'll, once I've caught the thing I'm doing, once I've actually realized that's what I'm doing, then I will focus on it for maybe a minute or three seconds or something, trying to refrain. And that's amazing. Even if you only do it once a day. So Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown. And you can think my guru's body, speech, and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind are the same. So it's all kind of merged into one. And then there's just a little bit on emptiness here. And this, in emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level your mind or you understand emptiness, just place your mind there for a moment. We can think of all phenomena as uh, empty, not existing from their own side. Like just everything depends on causes and conditions. And you can also think that the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they actually are the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we've created doing this practice to all living beings and think may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice this evening ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. So for those of you who have uh, teachers and and also for His Holiness the Dalai Lama to make strong prayers for him to have a long and healthy life to be able to teach so we can receive teachings and advice on our spiritual path from those who know more than we do. And then uh, if you have any other teachers, just wish for them to live long lives. And then also if you have Lamsa Parimsha as your teacher or know of him, knew of him, then make strong requests for Rimsha to return quickly the unmistaken reincarnation. All right, everyone. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for hosting, Shayla. <laughs>